Mitchell has a problem, and he keeps getting stuff from government auctions. <laughs> it's not a bad problem to have. You paid all of how much? It's like this? $28, I don't know. For all of them? Yeah. There's <laughs> another one too. There's, There's a three. third one. <laughs> You've got these two here because we have one LCD projector, and this one is a DLP projector. So we're going to sacrifice these projectors while they're on, and then through our thorough testing, we will tell you which one is better. Um, none of them are gonna be that great because they'll be cut in half. And I don't wanna see any complaining down in the comments that we're ruining two perfectly fine projectors. These things are old, and by today's standards, they are not that great. Yeah, these aren't even considered HD. They're both square format. Ew, gross. Or four, three, I guess. Gross, cut them in half then. Now we have video playing there. We're going to watch this being cut down the lens as it's playing. That picture's probably not gonna last very long. That's my, that's my uh, prediction. I think as soon as it hits the lens, it's going to just ruin the entire image though. Like it's, um, none of it's gonna be clear. We'll see. some surprisingly hard stuff in there and it looks like it was mostly glass elements that I think we were cutting through. I think that was a mirror that we sandblasted the finish off. Yep. Looks like the light is probably coming from there hitting that mirror shining through that and I don't know what it was bouncing off up there and then coming out the lens into this mirror right here through there and then up to whatever that part is. It looks like That's that might the be the to it. LCD or something. But this is DLP. Oh, uh, like well, it still has to have some sort of a thing that projects your image, right? This stuff is back here is just power supply and control boards and whatnot. Boring stuff. Cut the power cord, dude. Oh no, I ruined it. Can we cut through this? Yeah, I think the next step is we got to go down there, which will also go through that access panel, which I think that's where the lamp is. Did you find the color wheel? I don't think so. All of the animations online showing how DLP projectors work show like this giant color wheel. And I know it's probably not what it actually looks like in the real world, but I was, I was kind of hoping. I mean, this could be part of, this could be the part of that wheel. The DLPs, they shine a light through a color wheel that spins around the, and that's how it gets the RGB and whatever else colors and then it shines through a bunch of lenses. I don't know how exactly it gets the image. We just found it. We think that that is the motor that spins the color wheel. Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, we just pulled it out. Hey, I was right. That is the color wheel. There's the part we cut off. So there you've got red, blue. Looks like that was the start of the green. Oh, that's the other half of the green. You can see it if you get it on the right angle. And then, and then white. Just for brightness. Yeah, I think it's just the white. So that part is when we were cutting this, when it was turned on, we only got about halfway through the lens, maybe an inch, two inches into it before the entire thing just shut off, which it's kind of disappointing. Nothing is going to beat the record held by the Nintendo Switch. That had, thing had a complete hole cut out of the middle of it and it was still on. I was still playing the game. So I think this, this part is where it gets the actual image. 
probably filters out certain colors on certain parts of the the image, you know? So, so it's only reflecting what it wants you to see. Because that wheel spins really fast and the light shines through it. And so pretty much all colors are going through to that chip and then the chip filters out the colors so that the right colors show up in the right places. Yeah. I'll go with that. <laughs> DLP, you are now educated. Next up is we're going to do the LCD and see how that differs. Before we do that, we want to show you guys something real brief that we've been working on. This is the copper finger. But first, you've got to learn the five P's of contact. Push, pull, poke, pry, and push. But there is a P we all want to avoid. Poop. A researcher recently swabbed the payment pads at a grocery store and found poop particles on every single one. The conclusion, people are disgusting. The copper finger reduces your contact surface area by up to 99%, which reduces your risk of contamination. Plus, copper naturally destroys bacteria and viruses on contact. Give germs the finger with the copper finger. Buy one and get one free with the link in the description. Part. Like we didn't quite get that. Didn't quite get through the lens. A little bit at the bottom was holding it on. Okay, these are some cool color things. Huh. This is the fan that we uh, spun up briefly. So the light shines through here, and you can see through this hole, it comes out there. The way that LCD projectors work is as three different LCDs, one for each of the colors, RGB, and then it shines through all three of those, and all three of them are showing the same image at the same time. And then it goes through a prism that kind of conjoins all three of those images and then sends them out through the front. Sometimes these are called like a three chip LCD. DLP is a one chip. So this, was right there in front of that prism. So this is one of the three LCDs. One of the three LCDs that goes in right there. And it looks very similar to the one from the DLP, but the light shines through this one instead of being reflected off the back of it. There's an intact one I just pulled out. Oh, and there's one on the other side of that prism, which means so there's one on the back side of this, there's one in front of it, which means the other one is on the back side of that half of the prism. And there it is. So this is the green one, that was the red one, and that's the blue one. You can kind of see the bluish hue back there. And then that prism does black magic through math and science. And then it all comes out the front. The light shines this way, mirrors over, through, through that one, while sending some of its light that way, it sends the rest of it that way, which then comes back through the back side of that prism. Like, who came up with that? Dude? I don't know. That's, that's pretty intense. That's insane. Like, someone just had a free afternoon and was like, I'm going to make <laughs> a LCD projector. In one afternoon. This was invented, true story. Let us know which one you think is more impressive. Which one took the most afternoons to create? And I'd like to thank ourselves for sponsoring ourselves. Make sure to go get your copper finger in the link in the description. And your free one. Yeah, buy one and then you get one. 
So you get yours and then someone else's to give to someone. Your friend, your enemy, your frenemy. Yep, because you don't want to touch their poop. <laughs>